resulting on your router then you may not be able to connect to your wi-fi router so understand the concept first and then later on try this setting on your router on my screen you can see i'm using archer c60 for this tutorial but you can use any router and the process and the settings are going to be same and i'm going to tell you how you can find those settings on your particular router so first of all let's log into this router archer c60 after login to your router you have to find out advanced wireless settings or advanced security settings okay so mac filtering is going to be found inside advanced wireless settings or it can be inside advanced security settings based on different devices okay on this device if i click on this advanced then i can access advanced settings on the left hand side if i click on basic you can see we have wireless and it doesn't expand but if i click on advanced if i click on wireless then you can see i can access advanced wireless settings so it's really important this is going to be inside advanced settings so it can be either inside wireless or it can be either inside advanced wire uh, security settings so on your router you have to find out advanced wireless settings and check out if you have mac filtering there no we do not have on this router now let's click on security and we have access control here but there is no mac filtering if i click on this you can see this option now on this router we do not have mac filtering and on many tp link routers you won't find mac filtering mac filtering is named as access control on some of tp link routers on older routers mac filtering was available but on new routers you may not find this option so don't get confused now after coming to this page you do not have to immediately enable this option first of all you have to take care of these two options blacklist and whitelist and we are going to talk about this but before that let's talk about how mac filtering or access control mode on these routers work if you enable this option then your router is going to filter out the devices based on their mac addresses now remember this thing device name is not important mac address is going to be important here okay device name can be anything but mac address is important here so if we have selected whitelist if i click on save if i will scroll down you can see online devices and then we have devices in whitelist and there is a list here okay this is the name of the device and this is the mac address i can add any device we can assign any name because that is not important and then we can add the mac address of that device click on save so this way we can let's cancel this so this way we can manage this list now what will happen if we will select white list and if we enable this option then all the devices with mac addresses in this list are going to be connected to your wi-fi router only those devices any other device outside this list is not going to be connected to your wi-fi router that's really simple okay you have to take care of mac addresses and even you can remove any of the device if you want to like you can click on this recycle bin uh, icons one by one and you can even add it name and mac address like this okay so you have this option here now let's talk about blacklist how this will work if i select blacklist if i click on save let's scroll down now you can see devices in blacklist so it's empty now and router has not added any device here automatically now inside blacklist you can create this list simply by once again adding a device name you can assign any name and then mac address is important like let's say this is not my device okay this device i am highlighting and i want to block this device so what i need to do i have to copy the mac address of that device i have to enter here i can assign any name or i can also copy from here i have to save this and as soon as i will enable this option access control or mac filtering then any device inside this list blacklist is not going to be connected to my wi-fi router so my router 
is filtering out devices based on their mac addresses so this is how mac filtering work and this is how you can set up mac filtering on any tp link routers now these two options you may not find out on your router on this page on mac filtering page you may have only whitelist or blacklist but you have understood the concept if you have only blacklist then you can create a blacklist and those devices are not going to be connected to your wi-fi router if you have only option for whitelist then you can create a list for the devices which you want to have a connection to your wi-fi router and then you can enable this option okay so then only you can enable this option after you have managed this list why i'm saying this because let's say you have created this blacklist and let's say you have created this whitelist okay click on save and accidentally if you remove these from this list and you enable this option then your devices are not inside this list devices in whitelist then those devices are not going to be connected to your wi-fi router it's for security purpose that uh, if you are using whitelist because only the devices in the whitelist are going to be connected that is why your router this router is assuming that adding these devices to this list is safe and you won't get stuck out of your router so that is why it is automatically adding these devices in this list but you can delete one by one you can even select uh, uh, more than one devices at a time and then you can click on delete so this is how mac filtering work and you can set it up on any tp link router even you can set it up on d link routers the process and the settings are going to be same the concept is same across all the devices so thank you for watching bye bye see you in next video